changing the art of combusting to get energy and thus producing pollution to one as natural, the absorbing of natural energy, compressing it, using it and then letting it go. You burn nothing in the process. Conventional motors, when you take more and more part, they get warm because obviously there's less electrons and they got more room to buzz around and boom, more energy heating up to the point the motor sees up. In this case, as the electrons come out, electrons are being drawn in, so it can't get hot. You've got a constant flow being drawn in. You start the flow moving, it keeps going and going, getting more and more stronger as you speed up. And once electrons start sensing a homing point, they all start heading in the surrounding to that point. So relatively speaking, it is positive here, negative out here. Air is ionized, the current draws in the back of the center, and you have completed the circuit. This is Amy, just one of an uncountable number of negatively charged electrons seeking a positive destination. She finds the positively charged neodymium core irresistible and enters the Searle converter device becoming part of an enormous reservoir of electrons. Inside the neodymium, Amy meets Neo, an electron from the neodymium core. These electrons are drawn to the powerful magnetic flux line penetrating the four layers in the Searle design. They join together, forming a boson pair, as they spin around the magnetic force, releasing them on their pathway to freedom. As they enter the gate layer, they are compressed, feeling pressure to exit the system. At the same time, they are pulled and accelerated by the magnetic layer. Their energy continues to increase, racing through the emitter layer, joining trillions of other boson pairs that form the eddy current on the surface of plate one. The boson pair is captured by the roller and blasted into the positively charged neodymium core of the second stage plate, repeating the activity into the third stage of the Searle device. With tremendous energy, Amy and Neo are hurled forcefully into standard coils, where they are collected in the same manner as any generator of electricity. Nothing is created or destroyed. The circuit is complete. As the rollers move, they provoke electrons to migrate through the four layers of the plate, from the neodymium core, through the gate layer, the magnetic layer, and the emitter or copper layer. This activity repeats through the rollers and the plates. Unlike conventional generators, the electrons will be moving at extremely high velocity. Conventional currents are slow currents and they build up heat. The more current you draw, the more heat you get. This system is the opposite. The more current you draw, the colder it gets, for this reason. At the quantum level, the electrons are riding the magnetic field, not hitting the lattice of the atoms. The electrons find their path between atoms undisturbed, so they accelerate to higher and higher speeds. Rare Earth has a different function altogether. That's why we call it rare Earth. It likes more electrons than other atoms want. It stores them on another band. So if you've got this surplus of electrons, they're easy to take off because they want a positive target. It's going to replace that shortage from the surrounding fabric because that point's becoming a bit positive. So it will draw in electrons. It will pull more and more in than you're taking out. So the device will get colder and colder because the electrons are getting more compact. They have got, lit, they got far less room to move. It is so cold that the material will change its state. It will become a superconductor. 